when they're on the black hole planet. It's Miller's planet. Miller's planet, sorry. The, uh, the, uh, the water planet. The, the planet orbiting Gargantuan. Mm -hmm. So my two issues was, if it's tidal, would it be that peaky? And if it's any kind of wave, how could it still leave the water laying around its vicinity and then just be that big as it came by? So there is a type of wave called a solitary wave. This particular kind of wave was discovered in the uh, 1700s. A boat that was being pulled by uh, horses, and it was just starting up, and it uh, created this wave that traveled down a channel, uh, a canal, uh, and it was peaked like the wave in interstellar, though the wave in interstellar, I have to admit, it was exaggerated. And so the uh, theory of these waves, the dispersion and the steepening, the steepening mm -hmm. is due to nonlinearities. The dispersion is due to the fact that the higher parts of the water travel faster than the lower parts of the oh. water. If you're at the ocean, you see a little tiny wave, it travels quite slowly. You see a big wave, it travels quite fast. And that's why the, the crest of the wave will actually break yeah. before the rest of the wave yeah, gets that's there. Right. Is that that's part right. of the reason? That's right. that's right. The two effects balance each other mm -hmm. and to produce uh, this uh, very stable... Uh, solitary wave. 